everyone, this is Maja Bin Baloch from Pakistan and you're watching my YouTube channel Insani Iftihar. Um, so I came across a um, very strange news. Uh, it is actually uh, a bit older news but I came across it now because of so many things. We have monsoon and stuff and lots of things are happening. My sister is visiting my, along with my nieces and yeah we're having a lot of family time. So anyway, the news is in regards to uh, FIFA World Cup, which is happening this year in November in Qatar. And uh, the um, Qataris uh, did this um, really uh, anti-Semitic and racist thing by removing apparently um, Israel as uh, from the list of the hospitality website where, you know, Israelis could, you know, book uh, their tickets or their, you know, their uh, bookings or whatever, their accommodations and tickets. So from that, you know, website where, you know, you have to show your, where you're coming from or your nationality, um, they removed uh, the, the country uh, Israel and placed uh, occupied uh, territories Palestine, or Palestine, I guess. Um, so anyway, there is this another news. Uh, I will, by the way, the news, I would put the link on the description box. So apparently the Israeli um, citizens who were actually planning to see the FIFA World Cup uh, noticed this thing, and they were obviously outraged, as I was outraged, and in between, I have been a huge, huge fan of soccer uh, um, and have almost watched every FIFA World Cup since I was born and I was born in 84. So yeah, whatever World Cups, football World Cups I could see uh, or I could watch um, after at least turning 10 or something or 8, yeah, 8, 10, something. So yeah, anyway. Um, but, you know, for me, this was really, really absurd and anti-Semitic and showed this cunning hatred uh, that the Arab world has against the Jewish people and uh, the state of Israel. And that, you know, and, and it's just, uh, you know, they were actually trying to make that if, if uh, an Israeli a Jew or an Israeli, Israeli citizen anyway, even Arab or whatever, even an Arab actually, would, when they would, you know, purchase their tickets or their accommodations, they book a, book, book a, um, you know, their stay for the FIFA World Cup, they would have to, uh, you know, deliberately uh, select the, the Palestine option. And then there were, I, I guess there were memes and stuff. But, you know, later when, you know, um, the, the Israelis, uh, you know, the Israeli um, people who were intended to, uh, you know, watch this World Cup and go to Qatar. By the way, the Israeli citizens can't, can't uh, travel to Qatar because uh, Qatar actually does not recognize Israel. So um, the Israeli, um, you know, authorities actually had uh, a deal with uh, the FIFA authority to make sure that their citizens actually are able to travel to watch this World Cup because that would be um, unsporty and it would be discriminatory and it would be racist to not allow a, um, a recognized country in the world and their citizens to have the uh, ability to participate in this global sporting event. Um, anyhow, uh, when the FIFA actually agreed and pressured the Qataris to allow the Israelis to you know, participate in this um, fiesta of global, you know, um, festivity, sporting festivity, which comes after every four years. Um, so they did, but then they did this and they removed, uh, you know, they, they instead of, uh, although there were other countries were also missing, like Georgia, Armenia, and uh, Azerbaijan, but, you know, 
of course, omitting Israel was of uh, special consideration and putting uh, the Palestinian territories in. And then later, actually, removing the occupied Palestinian territory, they just said Palestine. Um, and, and, and when the FIFA officials themselves said that each country, they, there is a rule for the FIFA that every country should be treated equally, then they removed the Palestine, the occupied Palestine territory also. And then they placed Palestine. And then even they didn't include Israel. So it's like, it's, it's like deliberately calling Israel Palestine. And then, you know, kind of mocking. And then the, the, uh, there were memes on social media teasing the Israelis. So I thought that I should uh, reply to those memes uh, since I have a bit of a wicked mind up till now since I haven't yet converted into Judaism. So guess what you Qataris and all those officials doing this, uh, you know, wicked and uh, kind of thing. Imagine this. You select a territory, Palestine, and then you come in with a Palestinian, with, you know, uh, an Israeli passport. So in the system, you have selected Palestine as your country of origin. And guess what? You're coming with a <laughs> Israeli blue passport. And even if you're an Arab and you do don't actually believe in in this state or you don't recognize Israel but you still have you know the Israeli passport and the people who call themselves uh, Palestinian in the West Bank or Gaza and if they want to actually uh, attend the FIFA World Cup they would have to use what Israeli airline and Israeli permission and allowed uh, Israeli actually authority, Israeli authorities to give them permits to go and you know go out uh, from uh, Israel proper Ben Gurion airport and then you know so without I mean just imagine if somebody who is uh, this wicked as I am sitting at the counter and receiving an application from uh, a hardcore uh, FIFA World Cup and football fan and saying, I want to fly from Ben Gurion Airport, which is located in Israel, <laughs> and a L E L A E L flight, which is actually to the sky, sort of Hebrew. But anyway, so I mean. <laughs> And then, you know, that clerk or whatever, that authority which allows the, you know, Gazans and the West Banker Palestinians who, who do not actually have any, uh, you know, traveling documents, unfortunately, because there is no Palestine. It's only on the website, you see. And then that, you know, it's on the website and that clerk would just tease him. You know, you can't go, you know, and th th they're not allowing any Israelis. So you have to bring the Palestinian passport and you need to use the Palestinian airport. Do you have one in Gaza? Or, oh, yeah, you really sneak into Egypt and then get, then you're going from Egypt, actually, or going from Jordan. You're not going from Palestine because that doesn't exist. It only exists in the hospitality website of the Qataris base. So, you know, if you tease, uh, if you want to play uh, Wicked and you want to play this teasing game, even, the, in, in, even in that teasing game or meme game, Israelis will beat you up. <laughs> so don't mess it up. Include Israel or remove the Palestinian bullshit because uh, your anti-Semitism shouldn't be tolerated by anyone. So yeah, shame on you. And the ones who would you know, still manage to select Palestine and then fly on, fly from the Israeli Ben Gurion airport from Israel with an Israeli passport should die in shame, baby. Die in shame. Thank you. Have a very bad evening, all you Palestinians. Uh, evening or morning or whatever it is, have a really bad one. You know, <laughs> and the rest of the world, have a chill, fun, and amazing day.